in. You know, you can't necessarily go out back to back weekends and stuff. And you know, by and large, but well, actually, no. When I came back from Bump, I stayed for a couple of, I stayed for an hour or so, got another drink at uh, the Free Compasses, which is again one of the great things you can do with DJing, right? It's the whole like after hour thing. It's probably the best thing hanging out with the bar owner, hanging out with a bar manager, hanging out with their friends. It's probably the best thing you can do afterwards. So I did that for an hour, about an hour, and then I kind of you know walked back home slowly. It took me a while to get back home. I was going to take an Uber, but I thought you know what, for the first time playing here, I want to see what it feels like to go on public transport and the next time i might do an uber so uh just to see how long it'll take it took me about an hour and a half to get back home um luckily the journey wasn't that bad i took like the overground which is the only one that runs from dorston junction all the way into canada water and then took a jubilee line from there to stratford so that was fairly simple um but one thing i noticed that um, i think a lot of people have been mentioning it maybe because of their program has really improved and they're maybe aiming at a certain demographic but a lot of people go to Primworks, right? Or is it just me? I'm seeing a lot more people talking about Primworks. When I was at Tacney, I saw a lot of people talking to well, a group of friends going to Primworks. And then when I came back home from the Jubilee line, I bumped into some people that were gurning out of their minds, whatever. But they were they went to Primworks too and had a blast of a time. Uh, Primworks is one of those venues that popped up during the whole like Lions in Law thing. And just, oh no, popped up when the 24-hour tube was coming into play. And the whole idea behind it was that they were going to have this club uh, that was opened up, I think, in a former like printworks factory, essentially. Um, and obviously, to accommodate the printers in the, I think, you used to print newspapers back in the day. It's kind of shaped like a long rectangle, so it's quite, you know, it's not really, it's not something you'd be used to from a clubbing environment. Usually, clubbing environment, especially warehouses, they usually rect, they're usually like square shaped, right, quite wide. But this is really long and, and narrow because obviously it's a former uh, printing uh, factory. And the idea behind the print works was that they were going to open a space where it's going to be open from like 12 p.m. in the afternoon until uh, half 11 at night. And the idea behind it was that people could go home. It'd be like a 24-hour club, but people could go home before the last tube ended. Uh, now, I think they've changed the times and they're kind of doing it a bit earlier. Sometimes I've seen nights start at 3 p.m. I've seen 6 p.m. But essentially, they can fit. They can basically uh, have DJs play extended sets like four, three, five, four, three, four, whatever hour sets or six hour sets, similar to what they might do in mainland Europe, in England, and still people can still go home at a respectable time. But I'm seeing loads of kids going there now. I think it's kind of really popped up in the last few months or whatever it may be. I know the London Warehouse projects, London Warehouse, is it London Warehouse ele- projects or whatever the electronics, whatever that. LWE, that promotion company, I know that they've kind of pulled away from uh, print works and they're not programming as often as they are now. They've got other pro- they've got other promoters in to kind of do the programming, and so far so good. But I think uh, the one just passed. I think uh, Nas- Nastia was playing DJ Nas- Nastia, uh, who's kind of really good on social media. She's always on there crying or complaining about a set that went bad or talking about a set that went good. She's probably one of the best kind of uh, DJs on social media at the moment. So I recommend you check check her out, DJ Nastia. Uh, and then I think she was also playing alongside Eats Everything and uh, the Green Velvet. I think this Friday just passed. I think they've got another, a few other good club nights coming in. They had a really good disco one, I think, on Friday too. Um, I think a horse meat disco and a few other people were playing. So pretty much it seems like it's popping up a little bit. Um, I might have to go visit it because I still haven't been yet. I saw the video of Bicep playing live the other day. And that was insane. The light show that they did was really good. I know uh, Skepta did his SK. I oh, know. Did he do SK1 level or SK1? launch there or something or was it Eskimo? I don't know what it was but uh, Skeptic did the performance there recently performed live uh, there that, that looked great too um, so far I've seen some conflicting reports about the space about the the shape it is I've heard sometimes it can be a little bit hard to find a spot to dance because it's all really jammed up together in one place in that one rectangular spot but if you go somewhere with with all the room then the sound doesn't really necessarily carry over there uh, but by and large, I like the idea, man. I think it's a quite a pretty cool concept and a good way to kind of circumvent all the kind of draconian licensing laws that we have in London at the moment. Anyway, um, with that being said, let's dig into some topics. Uh, bah, bah, dee, bah, bah, dee, bah, bah, dee, bah.